Hey, Delia, how'd the rest of the twins' birthday party go? Absolutely great. We were able to reinflate the bouncy house. Everything's good. Great. Again, I'm so sorry about Zane. I told him not to go crazy. That's fine. We're used to it. Yeah, well, I'll keep a closer watch on him the next time we come over, okay? I've heard that before, but sure, no hard feelings. If it's not too much trouble, maybe you can have him write an apology note to the girls. Agreed. And if you need me to reimburse you for the cake, or the bouncy house, or the patio furniture, just send me the amount. Don't worry about that. Oh, thank God, because I don't have much. You know it's not about the money. We're fine. But maybe we should limit your visits for a bit. The girls love their cousin, but they did get pretty scared, especially after Zane found the cake knife. Yeah, but they're okay now. Sure, they're playing with all their presents. I'm sorry we missed it. Did they get anything good? Yeah, my friend Nancy gave them their first makeup kits, which I'm not too happy about. But other than that, good stuff. Thanks for the Legos, by the way. Anytime. So what did Mom get them? Well, uh, she gave them each an off-brand Barbie doll. Really? Aren't they a little old for that? Yeah. Before Dad got sick, he always gave the best presents, but now that Mom's doing the shopping, it's like she couldn't care less. Uh, don't tell her I said that. Of course not. Well, Zane's birthday is in a couple weeks, so expect something disappointing from her, like Play-Doh or something. <laughs> sure. Uh, anyway, sorry again. Hi, Mom. The girls want to thank you again for the dolls. Great. How's Dad? Is he able to get out of bed? No. Honestly, it's, it's not great. It's only a matter of time. Oh, uh, that's terrible. It's okay. At this point, death would be a blessing. Please don't say that. It's true. We've all made peace with it. Can the girls and I come over and see him? If you want. Great. Tomorrow? Actually, tonight would be the best time. But don't you have your book club on Tuesdays? Yeah, I, I won't be home. You have an extra key, right? But the girls want to see both their grandparents. No need. I just saw them at the party. For about ten minutes before you had to rush off with Wes. It was enough. Right. Well, we'll come over in a few hours. Is there anything that Dad needs me to bring? No. Don't you want to ask him first? He doesn't need anything. Have a good visit. Hey, I just came back from Mom and Dad's. Dad really isn't doing well. I think you should visit him. Maybe later. Mom told me that you were heading over. Really? When did you talk to her? Right now. She came with me to watch Zane's Little League game. Right now? Yeah. I'll tell her you said hi. But she said she was at her book club. But she canceled when I told her that Zane was having a game. You know how she is. Wow. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Just tell her I said hi and visit Dad when you can. Sure. Uh, gotta go. Zane just attacked the referee. Hi, Delia. Again, I'm so sorry. Are the girls okay? Well, their dresses are ruined and they're pretty upset. I'll have Zane write another apology note. Yeah, that really seems to work. Hey, it was his birthday party. He just got too excited. But I am sorry. I'd offer to reimburse you for the dresses, but I know you'll say no. Right. And uh, since you left early, I'll save you some cake. Actually, uh, no. Zane just threw the rest of it on the ground. Wes... Maybe you should look into therapy or medication. Maybe, if he keeps getting worse. Oh, and thanks for the new baseball equipment. I'm sure he'll love it. I'm glad. You left before we opened the present, so you didn't get to see the big one. You won't believe it. He got a four-wheeler. Like, a car? Yeah, a, a mini one. He's freaking out. I hope he wears a helmet. So how'd you afford it? Oh, it wasn't from me. Mom picked it out for him. What? I know. Can you believe it? I really can't. Uh, Wes, I need to ask you something. Does it seem like Mom is playing favorites with her grandkids? What do you mean? Well, she absolutely spoils Zane and she goes with you both everywhere, but the girls and I have been visiting Dad almost every day and she always leaves the house before we get there. Don't you think that's weird? What problem does she have with my girls? Do you want my honest opinion? Yes! I don't think it's them. I think it's you. What have I done? You remember how awful you treated mom when we were kids. I caught her cheating on dad. Of course I got upset. You should have gotten upset too. 
Get over it, Delia. Mom and Dad made up. That was ancient history. Exactly. I haven't brought that up in years. I guess Mom's still angry about it. And of course, there's the other thing. What are you talking about? About your lifestyle. Huh? I'm an orthodontist. Exactly. An unmarried orthodontist. You chose a career over a family. I have two girls. That you adopted. Please, don't get offended, because I love the girls as if they were my real nieces. They are your real nieces. Exactly, I agree, but I think Mom sees things differently. She's closer to me and Zane because we've carried on the family line, that's all. You know how much family means to her. Oh, right, family means so much to Mom. That's why she cheated on Dad. That's why she barely speaks to her only daughter. Don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to explain her thought process. Has she said any of this to you? Maybe. Jesus. Okay, whatever. Well, I still have dad. For now. Don't say that. He'll get better. Right. Mom, we're coming over to visit dad again. Will you be there? No. Didn't think so. Mom, I need to ask you something. It's really been weighing on me. Do you love my children? Of course. Do you love them just as much as Zane? Honey, it's not a competition, but if you must know... No, I'm closer to Zane. Why? Because he takes after me. He's a little hellion, like I've always been. My girls have been nothing but kind to you. They love you, even though it's obvious that you don't love them back. And Zane literally egged your car last week. I don't know what to tell you. Obviously, you shouldn't have asked the question. Is it because they're adopted? What a question. Is it? Honestly, Delia, is this really the conversation you want to have right now? I'm a soon-to-be widow. Do you really want to make this all about you? You still haven't answered my question. Well, I'll tell you this. The girls are beautiful and sweet. You're raising them right. That said, you don't know what kind of stock they come from. Their real parents could be murderers. Who's to know? I know this is the 21st century and all, but the family unit is still important. When I look at Wes and Zane, I see bits of myself. Wow. Well, I agree. Family is important. And the girls have started asking about their biological parents. I have no intention of tracking them down, but we did order one of those ancestry kits to learn as much as we can about their history. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm their mother and you're their grandmother. Sure. I'm coming over to the house tonight. It would be great if you were there. If not, we're still coming. Tonight really isn't the ideal time, dear. And why not? Another book club meeting? If you must know, your father and I have invited over a lawyer to get his affairs in order. Really? You mean like his will? Yes. And don't worry, your father is still giving you your fair share. I don't care about that, Mom. This is serious. Is he really this close to passing away? Yep. All right, I won't interfere. We'll come over after the lawyer leaves. Uh, house six. That'll be fine. Wes, I'm at Dad's right now. He's took a turn for the worse. You really should come over and see him. I guess. Like, soon. He, he seems extra groggy. He keeps forgetting things. Wow, I really should visit then. It sounds like a blast. Wes! Sorry, but I feel like he's been dying for months now. What more pearls of wisdom is he gonna dispense? I take that back. That, that was horrible. Zane and I will pop in sometime this week. Good, and make sure Zane doesn't touch his breathing machine, okay? Yeah, totally. Is the lawyer still there? No, he left before I arrived. How... How'd you know about that? Mom told me. Dad planned to change the will. She was really upset about it, too. Why? Uh, I'd, I'd rather not say. You're still in the house, right? Maybe you can find out yourself. I'm not going to ask Dad. That's awful. Then maybe just have a look. I assume they have a copy in his study. Wes, I'm not going to snoop around Dad's house. Suit yourself. I found out about the will. You didn't ask Dad, did you? No, I was walking by his study and the will was sitting right there. I had to take a look. I can't believe it, Wes. What does it say? 
Well, the old version had mom getting the house and half the money and the rest was going to be split between us and our kids. But the new version cuts out mom completely. Yeah, she's not happy about that. But that's not all. Instead of splitting it evenly between all of us, he's changed it to be split between his blood relatives. So? That cuts out my girls. Wow. So Zane and I will each get a third, and you'll get a third. Right, but that's terrible. He's treating the twins as if they aren't really his family. You'll still get a lot of money. I still don't know why he would do that. I don't know. Wes, do you want to come over for dinner tonight? I think we need to talk about this. Free food? Sure. Thanks again for dinner. Sorry we had to rush off. Of course. And don't worry about replacing the dishes that Zane broke. I always use the cheap stuff when he comes over. Uh, no offense. None taken. Anyway, I've thought a lot about what you said. And? And I really don't agree. I mean, why would mom purposefully cut your daughters out of the inheritance? Because they're adopted, like you said. Yeah, but if she had the power to coerce dad into changing the will, don't you think he'd change it in a way that gives her something? She's still going away empty-handed. Yeah, that's the one part I don't get. So obviously the changes were dad's decision. But why? He loves my girls. The real question is why you're so upset over this. You don't need the money. I do. It's not about the money, Wes. It's about Dad. We love him so much. It's hard enough to lose him, but to think that he loves me and my girls any less because of stupid genes? It's just awful. Yeah, I, I can see how that would suck. I've decided tomorrow I'm going to talk to Dad directly. You can't. Seriously. He's basically on his deathbed, and I don't want him to spend his last few days thinking that we're all squabbling over his inheritance. You're right, I don't want to do that to him, but I think I have to. I need to find out why he'd do that to my girls. Please don't. Hi, Mom. We're heading over soon, FYI. I know. Wes told me that you wanted to convince him to change his will. Well, good luck with that. He told you? And I don't want him to change it, I just want to know why he doesn't consider my girls part of the family. Sorry, honey, but the will's finalized. It's ironclad. Trust me, I've tried to change his mind. You know that he's cutting me off, right? Yes. See? If anyone should be upset over this, it's me, not you. You still get a third. Mom, after Dad's gone, what are you going to do? Oh, now you're worried about me? That's a first. Well, don't. I'll be fine. I have my own account and my retirement. I can take care of myself. And if you and Wes decide to sell the house, I'll just get my own apartment somewhere. Besides, Wes has already promised that he'd help me out financially once the time comes. Oh. Oh, I get it now. You get what? That your brother actually cares about me while all you care about is a father who can barely raise his head off his pillow? I get your plan. It all makes sense. You already knew that dad was never going to leave you anything. After how you've treated him all these years, that's no surprise. So you convinced Wes to split his inheritance with you. Is that it? He's giving me some. How much? Half, okay? Fine, you got me. He's a good son, and he's splitting half of the inheritance with me. Unlike you, he doesn't want to see his own mother on the street. What's wrong with that? Nothing if that's what the two of you decided. But Dad's old will would have split it evenly between me, Wes, and our three kids. Five ways. But that wasn't enough money for you, so in Dad's weakened state, you convinced him to add that whole blood relative thing to the will, meaning that Zane and Wes would get most of the money and my family wouldn't. It's almost too petty to believe, but that's what you did, didn't you? Mom? Fine, you caught us. But there's nothing illegal about it. Your dad signed everything. It's ironclad, and I know you wouldn't bother to challenge it in the courts. And most importantly, you don't need the money. You know what? You win. I hope you and Wes are happy. We're still coming over to see Dad. Not about the will, just to see him. And when we get there, I don't want you to be in the house. Gladly. The whole house smells like death anyway. Mom, 
The girls and I are coming to visit again. Please don't be there. I'm already gone. <laughs> what do you want? You're over at the house practically every day. Can't you just leave me in peace? Mom, where are you? I'm with Wes and Zane. We just got out of a movie. Dad passed away. What? When? Over an hour ago. The girls and I spent the last few minutes with him and then he passed. The ambulance already left. Oh, I'm so sorry. I know things have been tense between you and me, but just know that I'm here for you, okay? Well, don't bother, I'm fine. It was a long time coming. Mom, dad's dead. How could you be so cold? I've come to terms with it. He's in a better place and all that. Mom, did you ever love him? Yes, when we first met, but that was a long time ago. Well, I assume you don't care, but I've been working with him to plan his funeral services. I'll let you know when it happens. Why would you do that? We're just going to have him cremated. That's not what he wanted. I helped him order a plot and make all the other arrangements. You did? Behind my back? Don't worry, Mom. That's all we talked about. When Dad was still with us, I never mentioned anything about his will. You and Wes are safe. Good. Wise move. <laughs> Hey, Delia, what time's the funeral again? It started 30 minutes ago. You and Zane should already be here. So should Mom. Oh, I, I misspoke. I meant the will reading after the funeral. Of course you did. That's at noon, after the mourners leave. Cool. See you then. I don't understand. Why would you come to the will reading? What are you talking about? To get my money, of course. Oh, <laughs> I guess I forgot to tell you. You won't be getting anything. Neither will that absolute psychopath you call a son. What? Uh, that's not possible. The will was finalized. His entire estate goes to his blood relatives. I know you didn't convince Dad to change it again. Nope. The will's the same. Then Zane and I will get our share. Yeah. About that. There's something I kept forgetting to tell you. You're not a blood relative. What? In the last few weeks, I did the one thing you kept assuming I wouldn't. I actually talked to Dad. I asked him point blank why he cut out mom from the will. The answer didn't surprise me. She's always been horrible to him, including all the cheating. But then I asked why he added the whole blood relative thing. He said that was mom's idea. She pressured him into it, saying that the money should stay in the bloodline. And dad agreed. He knew she was up to something, trying to cut my daughters out of their share, but he went along with it anyway. Not because he was feeble-minded, but because he knew the truth. He's always known. Wes, you're not his biological son. Th that's not true. Oh, it is. Dad always suspected you were the result of one of Mom's flings, but he didn't have any proof. That's why I invited you over for dinner a few weeks ago. I needed to get some of your DNA. I already had an ancestry kit from my girls, but I used it on you instead. Remember when I gave you that COVID test before you entered the house? And guess what? The results came back. You are a bastard, Wes, in every sense of the word. But those kits aren't 100% accurate. That'll never hold up in court. Then we can just get an official test. But I assume it'll show the exact same results. And by the way, you're half Slovakian. That's kind of interesting. You can't do this. We'll challenge the will. Yeah, like mom said, the will is airtight. There's nothing you can do. And in case you haven't figured it out yet, dad's entire estate goes to his only blood relative. Me. And I can share it with anyone I want. So you can help me out, right? Uh, me and mom. I'd love to do that, but obviously it's not what dad wanted. This all happened three months ago. It's been tough because we missed out a lot, but I'm so grateful that we were able to spend those last few weeks with him. Even though he couldn't get out of bed, we honestly had a great time planning his last bit of revenge against Mom and Wes. They were truly awful to him, and they got everything they deserved. Which was, of course, absolutely nothing. Mom had to move in with Wes and Zane. I assume Zane is horrible as always. Now that Mom's living with them, I hope she finally sees the error of spoiling him so much. For a while, they wouldn't stop calling me, begging for some financial help. I told them my hands are tied. Dad wanted the money to go to his blood relatives, so I wouldn't want to betray his wishes by giving them a cent. The last I heard, Wes had to take on a second job to support the three of them. 
Other than that, I don't know what else they're up to. I've cut contact. And if you want to know what I plan to do with the inheritance, well, the girls and I moved into Dad's old house. It's a great way to keep his memory alive. And as for the money, I put it all in the bank. Every single cent is going towards my daughter's futures.